Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to Lily Lulu. My name's Karen. And once again, this is the third time I've tried to film this today. Somebody is not cooperating, mentioning no names, but he barks. So I'm working on the Fox Journal again, and I'm at the point where um, I am sewing in the signatures, attaching the signatures to the binding. And I'm doing something different and I'm part way through the first one and I thought I'll turn the camera on and show you what I'm doing. So this probably looks very strange to you, but I'll show you with the second signature. What I'm intending to do is have um, a little envelope in the centre of each signature. Um, but I want the, the strings to come through the envelope here, which is why I haven't stuck the envelope together um, so the strings will come through here the envelope will be sewn in I'm going to tie the strings off here and then I'm going to seal my envelope or, or stick everything down on the envelope um, so that it still opens and we can put things in but it's actually attached into the signature and will fold like a page so that's my plan. Now, I'm not claiming that this is my idea. Um, I'm sure I've seen it somewhere before, but I don't know where, so I can't credit um, whoever's idea this was. I'm so sorry. If I do come across um, the video or post or whatever where I saw this originally, I will, of course, come back and link it in the description below. But at the moment, I have had a quick look through my history on YouTube and I can't see um, where I might have seen this. So I will take a more careful look later. Um, but that's my plan. So I've got my binding ready. I've punched all the holes. I don't know if you can, how well you can see that on camera. You can see a row of holes here, I think. Um, punched all my holes in my binding and I've punched my holes in the pages. And what I've done is just used some masking tape to hold this envelope open where I want it to be in the center of the signature. And I'm now gonna start um, sewing it all in and we'll see how it goes. So I've never done this before. Max, in your bed. Um, I haven't done this before, so I'm not sure how it's going to work, but I thought I'd give it a try and bring you along on the journey to see what happens. So I'm doing a five hole pamphlet stitch as I usually do um, with these um, big hardback journals that are my favourites to make. Um, and I'm just, I've gone in the centre hole there because obviously I want to tie the strings off inside the centre of the signature. I'm just popping a clip here at the bottom of that string so that I don't accidentally pull it all the way through. Um, so yeah, with the five hole pamphlet stitch, you can start from the outside and go in, but then you will end up on the outside to tie your strings off. So it just depends, you know, what look you want for your journal. And then I'm taking my binding and I'm finding my first column of holes that I've punched and I'm going into the centre hole on that first line to attach my binding. And then I'm going up to the second hole. And again, you can go up or down, um, which it's just generally a matter of, of choice, you know, what you prefer to do. I always tend to work upwards first and then downwards. So I've gone in num hole number two on my binding and now I'm going on into hole number two in the signature. Pulling that thread through. And you can see I've caught the envelope there with those two holes. Now I'm going up to hole number one. So you've seen me do um, this before on camera. I've done the five hole pamphlet stitch before, um, but I haven't done this fancy trickery of 
hiding my strings inside an envelope. Um, right, so we've come through hole number one on the back there. So now we're going to go back in to hole number two and try not to um, split the thread as we go. Now I'm using waxed um, linen thread. So that usually makes it a little bit easier. Um, it's easier not to split your thread. When I, you know, when I use embroidery threads, which I love to use, it's very easy to split those as you're going in and out. So using the um, wax linen thread does make things easier, but obviously use whatever you have, finding your journals and whatever you like, whatever you like to use. So we've come in to hole number two. Now we're going to miss hole number three and we're going to go back out through hole number four. So we're just missing the centre where we started and going to the hole below. Back through the binding. And then we're going to go down to number five. So that's the bottom hole. And you can barely see this hole at the bottom here. Let's go back through. Sometimes if you can't see where you're working or you can't get your needle through, just um, poke your hole through from the, in the opposite direction and that just um, helps to establish the route that you want your needle to follow. There we go. Back up. Oh, now I've got tangled around my clips, which is not good. That's it. So from the, oh dear, what have I done here? I've got stuck on something. Oh, I've got a knot in my thread. Uh, after saying it, it slides through much easier when it's waxed linen thread, I've managed to knot it. <laughs> right, so now we're going to go back out through hole number four. I don't know if I've said, I hope everybody's well. Are you enjoying the summer holidays? I think um, all the children are off school now, aren't they? Um, how have I ended up with that great big bit there? which way I've gone now, but that's it. Pull that through. Now we're going to go back in number three, where we started. <coughs> Max, quiet. <coughs> Sorry about that. I've shut the back door now, so hopefully he won't hear so much noise and we'll be quiet. Right, so we're going back in to the third hole where we started she says hopefully <laughs> seem to be getting myself in a tangle oh there's another dog barking outside now come on max in your bed be a good boy good quiet good boy here you are naughty doggy you're being a good boy aren't we no barking get down you can't sew a signature in there you go there's max saying hello come on jump down Jump down, good boy. Oh, he likes to get in on the action, doesn't he? Not very helpful when you're doing something tricky on camera, though. All right, this does not want to come through here for some reason. Just go back that way again. Right, now I've come through, as I say, I'm back through hole number three where I started but you can see my initial string and this string are both on the same side of this center string so I'm just popping that looping that underneath so that I have one string on each side of that center line so now I'm going to undo my clips um, and just tighten everything up as best I can 
and you want these to be fairly tight so that everything's secure but you don't want to be ripping your paper and for some reason my center string does not want to tighten up So now I'm just going to tie these uh, in a double knot so that they're secure and then I'm going to chop these off short which as you know I don't normally do so I normally have bows or dangles or something and hopefully they will lay like that take the masking tape off and then we will have this envelope in the middle this signature so I just now need to seal that envelope and I think I will use um, double-sided tape for that because um, it's still quite warm here um, The, the glue will be very runny and I don't want to be, you know, accidentally sticking everything together. So I'm just going to pop a piece of tape on each of these side edges. And grab a bone folder, burnish those. Take the backing off. I don't usually use um, double-sided tape with pockets um, because there's a chance that whatever you're putting in and out of the pocket will catch on the tape. But because this is coming, this is on the outer part, um, sticking the bottom of the envelope or what would be the bottom if it was up the right way the the things sliding in there are not going to come um anywhere near that double-sided tape they're not going to come into contact with it so that is how that looks so then obviously i'll just put some sort of little something to hold that closed um in the book, let's just burnish our pages just to help them all sit nicely. page that we made on camera together on video I should say I've lost track now of how much of this um, you have seen before and how much you haven't because I've been sort of working on it here and there um, added some different pages in found another kit a digi kit and as you know I'm a sucker for digi kits <laughs> I love them and it was all foxes, so I had to have it. Um, so I will try and find that one again as well to link. Um, but 
yeah, I don't know how much you're going to see of this now until it's finished. Um, because I really need to plough ahead and get it done and in the post. It's already very late. <laughs> so, as I say, I probably won't have time to film much more of getting this finished. The next one may well just be a flip through. But there you go. There's our first signature in and our little envelope in the middle there that will turn like a page. You can open it up and pop stuff in. And as I say, I'll just put something on there to act as some sort of closure um, when I finish the book off. So I hope you found that interesting. I'm not going to make you watch me sew all the rest in. Um, so you've seen me do a five hole pamphlet stitch before. I just wanted to see how this went um, and show you what I'd done. So thank you for joining me today. Take care and I'll see you all again soon. Bye bye.